Afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, the Big T Farms. That was a pretty good uh, soybean harvest, I do say. Uh, made some pretty good money with that. It yielded really good. Uh, been talking with a uh, neighbor down the road down there. It's got the cattle farm. Been seeing his Holsteins and his other cows out there in the farm. And uh, kind of bartered up a trade with him. Pretty much I've got four bulls in mine, and I don't need them. So he said if I kept them, fed them, fattened them up, took them to market, sold them, and gave him money, he'd have me some heifers down here. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So he said I could pick them up today, later today, after I get done harvesting the beets down there, and uh, they'd be ready for him. And then once I get that all taken care of, and I take the beets down there to the sugar factory down there to get it done, uh, it's pretty much winter time. It's coming up close. So it's pretty much gonna be taking care of factories and checking things out. So I've gotta do that beet harvest, and then hopefully uh, things will work out for me. And then, uh, I did something else too. <clears throat> Made a little extra money, and I remember telling you all that uh, the old Master Ferguson just don't have the power to pull the new equipment that I got. So what we're going to do is I'm taking the Massey and we're selling it. I'm going to purchase me a new tractor, which I've already done, but I haven't taken the Massey down to the dealership yet for the trade-in. So got to feed old Buck here. And then I've got to grab the McCormick and get down there and start doing the beet harvest. The worker should have the, the uh, truck all the way on the side of the road. So enough jibber jabbing, let's get to it. I got to get down there and go get the beets done. And hopefully this beet field actually does pretty good. So, look in here. Of course, we're getting in the old Silverado. Buck should be coming soon. I just fed him, huh? Well, he's way out there somewhere. There you go. All right, let's get let's get down here to this beet field and let's go. Kind of excited to get. Instead of buying sugar, now I have to make my own. So you know it would help. Look at this right here. It would help if I brought the tractor with me. <laughs> Why am I in the truck when I need to bring the tractor? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Let's go grab the tractor. <laughs> Boy, it's going to be one of them afternoons, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's head up here to the shed. Let's grab the tractor. Uh, oh, don't hit my shed. Yeah, all right. <laughs> let's go grab us some McCormick here. Because it's the only one that's got the three-point link in the front. So, hoping she's got enough power to pull it. So... Let's get out of here. Try not to hit my shed door. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's head down. Let's go get something done. All right, we'll get everything all hooked up. I'll start this beet harvest here, so. Now the dealership dropped this off. I've leased this out, so I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to do beats. I don't think buying the equipment is what I need to do. I think just leasing her out, and using it. I'll get this all hooked up. There we go. What that farmer told me was that uh, you got to uh, take the tops off and then have the harvester behind and get it ready to go too. So, we're going to go ahead and get everything all set up. Now I'm gonna dip into the field here and we'll see how she does. All right, I'll be right back with you. Well, we're not doing too bad. Kind of just plugging along and getting sugar beets. Kind of uh, interesting, I've never done Sugar could be harvested. So, 
little piece of equipment here is doing pretty good. Getting some good yield up here right now. I'm hoping this will do up good enough for me to get into the sugar making business now. So, this seems profitable for me. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep planting beets over in this field. Because, uh, yeah, this is pretty good size, decent field. I wouldn't want to be doing this all the time. I'll tell you that. Looks like we're profiting pretty good. All right, I'll see you all in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good harvest or not for beets. Uh, looks like on the yields she's doing pretty good. Light greens, dark greens. I don't see no oranges or reds in there. So hopefully this is good enough to get the production going. Got a few little more passes to go. And uh, yeah. I think this is going to be the beet field because, yeah, this is going to make me sugar, but man, this is monotonous work here now. It roots. Hmm. I don't think I could do this in a big field. This would, unless they had some better equipment, then maybe I might. But uh, future endeavors, I might do that. I'm kind of debating on that. Might have to find another way to make sugar. A couple more passes here and I'll take what I got down to the production factory there. A little more. Might have to make sure I didn't leave none in the field here. Oh, McCormick did pretty good pulling this. Let's go over here. And that should be the last of it. I'm going to kind of dip around here in the field here and look. Well, we'll go park this in the road ditch for the dealership come pick up. Uh, I'll try to put it in the same spot that they left it. It'll be a little easier for them to get. We'll get this one. Drop that there and hold it back up. Oh, maybe I need to learn to back up a little bit. So let's go back here. Put this one in this road ditch here. I'm going to take the McCormick back, go park it, and, uh, and we'll grab the old truck right there, and I'm going to go take her down to the sugar factory. We can see what we made. I'll be back with you all in a little bit. Well, made her down to the old truck. Let's head down to the little factory down here. Let's uh, drop off these beets. Not a whole lot. 19,000 liters, but I mean, at least I'm not buying pallets of sugar. Anyway, we'll be down there in a little bit. I'll get that all put in that factory. 
to you on a little bit. Well, there's that dairy farmer I was talking about. Old boy wants my bulls for some heifers. He's got some good looking cows out here. You know what? I'm gonna take a look at some of these cows right now. I ain't know anybody come down that road there. But he's got an old bull there. Double old bull. Let's see what the cow look like over here. Well, they don't look too bad at all. Yep. I think that's gonna be a fair trade for me. Sure will. All right, let me see it. Let's go down here to this factory. Let's get this dumped off. No. Start making my own sugar for the tomato factory. And juice factory and all the other businesses I got down here. Yeah, because buying pallets of sugar, that gets expensive after a while. I think the going cost for a pallet of sugar is about 900 bucks for a pallet. So that way I can make my own cornbread and everything like that with my own sugar. So I believe that little spot's right over here, just in behind my shed right here. So I think it's this little guy right here. Let's get her dumped off. I'll be right back with y'all. Well, we got that dumped off. No, I'm gonna park the old International, and I think I'm gonna grab the old Massey. Uh, dealership called me and said my tractor's there. Just bring the Massey down and uh, pick up my new tractor. So I'm gonna drive it back. Last drive with the Massey. New drive with the new tractor. And then. Uh, We'll see where I'm at after that. I gotta get back to the farm. Well, the old Massey's been a good tractor. But, uh, with the new equipment I got over there, this just don't have the power to do it. So I'm gonna take this down there. Hopefully they give me pretty good money for this thing. You know, I have took care of it. They ain't getting a tank of gas, but at least I've taken care of the tractor. Hopefully they give me a good price for it. And my new tractor, I guarantee, probably has enough power to pull that stuff. So, one last drive with the old Massey. And then I'll pick up my new tractor. I'll see you guys when I get it. We'll be heading back. Oh, looks like a dealership come by and picked up their stuff. And I've got to go see that, that man about those calves. Because he's telling me he's getting them loaded up right now. He'll have them in a trailer for me, really. So, I don't want the cows getting all upset sitting in a trailer too long. So, see y'all in a little bit. Well, that was a little painful, but uh, yeah, I figure that's a fair deal for a tractor with that many hours on it. 116,000, not too bad. Said my new tractor's round back, so let's go take a look, see what we got. Kind of excited. And there's my new tractor. 435 horsepower on the duels. I think I'd be more than enough power to pull my equipment. Let's jump in the old thing. Let's get that new smell going. New tractor smell. Oh yeah. Oh man, they even put a carpet down for me. All right, let's fire her up. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Take the first spin. Yes, sir. This is a good old tractor right here. Gets up and moves. Huh? All right, I gotta watch all my traffic here, but hey, don't run right straight into you if you're not paying attention. All right, we'll head on down back to the farm. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. Oop, I'm running over the curb and everything. Phone's beeping. Must be that farmer telling me his 
cows are ready. He sees me driving back and forth. I'm gonna have to come by and pick them up. All right, see you on a little bit. Looks good, don't it? Brand new home, brand new tractor. Boy, I can't wait to use this thing. All right, let's jump out. All right, like I said, he's been texting me like crazy. Those cows are ready, so I need to get down there and get to it. Grab the Silverado out here and uh, head down there. He said it's behind the brown barn, behind the field there. He's got the cows loaded up. So, uh, let's head down. Oh, there's Silverado. Bang the shin into the back bumper. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm excited. Get me some more cows. I think I'm gonna put beets in that field again. Yes, sir. This time, I'm not gonna to try to miss that corn harvest time. Or corn plant time, I should say. I wanna harvest my own corn. But uh, yeah, it kinda of messed up there a little bit. Luckily that farmer gave me enough. All right, I'm coming up on his place here. He says, large brown building, large brown shed. Cows are all loaded up and ready. I said, just bring the trailer back for them. All right. Pull in here. Brown shit. Let me see here. Brown shed might be. Let's do that. Back up to this thing here. Let me make sure he's got the cows in there. Oh, 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 don't hit the trailer. It's not mine. All right, let's, uh, let's go see what we got. Some in there. So, uh, crawling all over the dang trailer. Nice cattle trailer. All right, she's all hooked up. Let's go. I gotta get him out of this trailer and put into put into the barn so I can get some food. here to their new home. Let them all in. They gone, cows. We're getting there. And they hurry. <laughs> well, I might want to slow down for this corner. A little, little blind corner here. All right. to their new home. All right, let's take this trailer back. And uh, give that back to the old farmer. Probably when I see y'all again, we'll uh, be planning on what we're doing. Planning on getting stuff done. Factories getting close to winter time again where it gets kind of slow. But Juice Factory's been working pretty good for me, so. I've got a lot of that to sell off. So hopefully that pays me out pretty good too. That little extra money that the dealership gave me there, still in the green. 
drop the old boy's trailer off here. Set down here and drop her off. Come on. Silverado's moving. Don't pass the driveway now. Alright, we'll just pull her in here to the shed right here. Well, that's going to be doing her for today. I thank you all for watching. P.T. Farms in Alma, Missouri. And I'll talk to y'all later. You guys have a good day.